Mighty Diamonds lead singer Tabby Diamond killed in drive-by shooting. Where do angels go when they die? Nobody knows. What's up, lovely people? Welcome back to the channel. And to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome. A blessed Friday morning to you all. And guys, let us give thanks for another day. And thanks to the Almighty for sparing our lives. Because the way how things are run now, the way how earth are run, Jamaica in particular, to go to your bed and wake up and see a new day it's a blessing because for the past two weeks the amount of people that was cut down it is unbelievable guys earth run red so i just want to tell you all this morning to continue giving thanks for life live good do good because it look like say, some Blood demons have been unleashed on Jamaica. We always have a crime problem, but it coming like it just too much now. So guys, go forth, do good, and protect on yourself now, if you can. So today we are going to take a look at the Mighty Diamonds, one of them veteran reggae singers. Somebody who have served their country well in the entertainment industry. And he was just cut down like a dog in the street. News emerged that lead singer of the stalwart reggae group, the Mighty Diamonds, Tabby Diamond, was among two people killing a drive-by shooting on McKinley Crescent in Kingston minutes before 10 o'clock on Tuesday night. The three people were injured in the attack. And reports are that the 67-year-old singer whose real name is Donald Orlando Shaw, was among a group of people who were gathered at a section of the community when gunmen opened fire from a passing motor vehicle. Tabby Diamond and another man were pronounced dead at the hospital. Approximately 9.40 p.m. last night, uh, as a lone uh, gunman walked up to a group of persons standing at a shop along the McKinley Crescent, opened fire at the group. Uh, five persons were shot and injured, uh, two of whom would have su succumbed later. Uh, one of the deceased is known as a reggae icon in the country, uh, Mr. Shaw. Yeah, it's really another unfortunate and senseless act in the space and currently we are trying to get to the bottom of it well in this the shooting has left members of the reggae industry in shock and grief as tabby diamond was known to be a staunch rastafarian who embraced the philosophy of peace and love the award-winning mighty diamonds are recognized for some of reggae's most memorable songs like past the kochi right time i need a roof and heads of government so now that all of that gone and the veteran life was snuffed out. Police and his relative now have the task to put the puzzle together because it a baffled them. They want to know why somebody would have want to take with him three points. The police are saying there are a number of things that are pointing to possible causes of his death. They are saying that this particular area have been plagued by gun um by gang conflicts for a long time now in the he said the mckinley crescent and the wind road area there are a number of war infractions so preliminary assessments are pointing towards gang war 
He said that we have been speaking to sources and community people and there are a lot of finger pointing. But you know them, they are just hearsay. And of course, person and different warring sides, names are now coming up. And they are now saying that they will leave no stone and turn. And it is also said that Tabby's, Tabby Diamond's son, who have been in custody and a murder charge, is a known violence producer in this particular area. He is known as a perpetrator of violence in the area and we are trying to assess to see if any of the son's activity in the past could lead to his father being a target at the same time they're not see, saying that that is a reason but it is a possibility and this comes now on the heels of some a voice note that has been leaked because MC Nuffy had a call-in program and somebody called on the program and was saying that. Is the son really a the problem? And it was a retaliation, revenge or what have you. So they come looking for the son but the son in a custody. So then take the father. I don't know if that is true, but that is what is being said. You know, Saturday was a night, and he you know what So, he said, he never saw that somebody called him and he was right in front of the tap. I'm telling you, same place I want to house there. Mm. So, when he was telling me, he said, he never saw him get shot, but he never saw him in the car. Then he had to bring him to the hospital. But somebody said, when he was going to run and start recording care, then then could I almost go on same by the start and was saying they now make it. So then it looked like a big head shot and chest shot then here, but the serious thing about this now. Then she will kill Tabby. Whatever the man is on in a bench away to the hole. Now then then what it comes to the same thing about. And once a year people say, and the same, then go back and can put the man to the daddy, then I'll say people are away. So right now, when the man there, People have a leak, worse, are you not sent for him killer? So people have a leak, and they don't want to know. So they are not in there. But the man not involved, all the cars and son, the piano kill the man with that, the man not told you. How many man and son? You have to know what the son. It's the same thing, not about. And so, yeah, may I tell you now, as parents and as upright citizens in society, sometimes. You preach peace and you fall victim of the same thing where you are that you champion against. Because Tabby Diamond, an upright sitting citizen in the society, but he has a son who is a violence producer, perpetrator of the law. And chances are his son action could be the cause of his father's death. They have this saying, me can't get quack or me catching shot. And it is not a case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. The man was at his gate, almost his gate. He was at the right place. It's just that revenge sometimes has no respect for person. And these violence producers, these criminals, these old corner boys, they don't have no respect for nobody. Then come for do a job and them are going to do it. And they couldn't care less who them take down in the process. And it is so sad and unfortunate that such a great musician had to leave us in this manner. Tributes have been rolling in and coming in for him. Because he will be greatly missed. And these are what some of his colleagues in the industry and some friends have been saying. So... Bounty Killer had this to say. Janua Star, Big Efriguan, what our godfather, our mentors and musical legendary pioneers could have done, could have done so why he was brutally murdered last night by multiple gunshot. These youths got no soul. Too much molly and rum boom up. Them big head. Dog, my condolences goes out to his family, friends, and music colleagues. Sleep in peace.
tabi naima. And then Shaggy had this to say. So saddened by the news this morning of the loss of another one of our legends, Tabby Diamond from the Mighty Diamonds. I've had the pleasure of sharing this stage with this legend on numerous occasions. His contribution to the culture is well documented and he'll be terribly missed. Condolences to his family. Wa good Tabby. Rest in peace. And the tributes keep pouring in. I said, Tabby don't deserve that. He's just a peaceful man for years. We have come. You don't hear anything from Tabby. Tab, you don't even hear Tabby talk. Tabby talk to you, don't even hear him talk. And me tell you, say, all my heart goes out for him. My heart cries out. My heart cries out. My heart cries out. And me say, Chandolin, say, family, because it's coming like Tabby is a part of my family. And therefore, me feel like. Me, Make me feel like a fish out of a water right now. But may God bless his soul. Yeah. So on behalf of Island Girl family, we just want to say, we just want to send condolences to his family and friends and just tell them, hold the faith and stay strong. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. When you're gone, when you're gone, Yes, I'm on him, Tabby Diamond, and no flow for the house.